We're going to do a three-dimensional drawing of a skate ramp. We're going to do an oblique drawing first that will look like this and for that we'll use a 45 degree set square and also we're going to do an isometric drawing that will look like this and for that we're going to use the 30 degrees and the 30 degree set square in each direction. Right, let's get started. First thing, measure up 80 millimeters from the bottom of the page and put a mark. Use your T-square to project a light construction line across the page at that height. Now measure along from the left hand side of the page first and leave a mark. Measure a further 100 millimeters and put a mark and then use your T-square and your set square to project a light construction line up from both of those marks. Take your ruler and measure up 55 millimeters and leave a mark and then use your T-square to project a horizontal line across to complete the crate or the outline of that shape. Using your ruler measure up from the ground line 35 millimeters and leave a mark and again use your T-square to project a light horizontal line across. Take your ruler and measure along 10 millimeters with your t-square and set square project the line down as shown now using your t-square and your 30 degree set square project a line up from the bottom right hand corner of the box we can now darken in the shape Right, now using your 45 degree set square, project lines up from all the corners shown here. Now what you're going to do is to take your ruler and measure along 25 millimeters and put a mark up that 45 degree line off the top corner of the shape. With your T-square project horizontally along and then using your set square on your T-square project down. Again following the front of the shape project horizontally across and in the same way as you did for the front line use your 30 degree set square to complete the drawing. Darken in all the outlines to separate the final lines from the construction lines. Now we can name the view in the usual way, measure down from the baseline 10 millimeters, further 5 millimeters and leaving two marks, and project light construction lines on those two marks and in between those lines write oblique in block capital letters. For the next view, we're going to measure along 110 millimeters. Put a mark. Now, using your 30, 60 degree set square, project a light construction line up from that mark. And again, with your 30, 60 degree, going up at 30 degrees from the bottom of that line, and then flipping your 30, 60 degree round, 30 degrees in the opposite direction as shown. Now measure up the leading edge line there, 55 millimeters. Put a mark. And on the longer side, measure up 100 millimeters and again put a mark. And on the shorter right hand edge, measure up 50 millimeters and leave a mark. Now what you're going to do is take your T-square and your set square and project up at that top mark at 30 degrees along and then up to the right at 30 degrees as well. Now we're going to project up vertically from those two marks at the, on the bottom edges. 
Now what we're going to do is complete the top surface or the top crate surface by projecting at 30 from that corner and again projecting at 30 degrees from this corner here and you'll see that they intersect in the very back corner. Measure up from the bottom 35 millimeters as shown and leave a mark and using your t-square and set square project down at 30 degrees. You're going to take your ruler now and measure along the top 10 millimeters and leave a mark and use your t-square and set square to project down from that mark. We need to figure how far along from the back the ramp starts going down, which is this distance here. Take your compass and measure from the back to that part and place it in the same position on the isometric view and leave a mark. Now with your pencil on that point use your set square as a straight edge and project down. Now let's darken in the front surface of that shape before we make it three-dimensional. Using your T-square and your 30 degree set square, project lines back from the points that you can see. And now project a vertical line down from that corner and a line at 30 degrees sloping down to the right here. And finally, put your pencil on this point and use your set square for a straight edge and project a line down to this corner. Now you're ready to darken in the final isometric shape. Project the lines you used to write oblique neatly under this view, which of course is called isometric. Now draw a title box at the bottom of the page using the same dimensions as you did for the orthographic. This view the scale is 1 to 25 and the title is Skate Ramp, Oblique and Isometric and remember to write your name in the right hand side. 